Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the new, easiest way to beat the Warthog run without a vehicle at all, any vehicle, or even mods. So, now that Halo 3 is on MCC PC, and thanks to 343, I do have early access to it now, so that's why I can show you guys this. And, you know, big shout out to them for this, but, um... Anyways, now that Halo 3 is on MCC PC, we can finally actually show you guys more of the Acrophobia Skull, and show you basically how useful and fun the skull actually is. Like, in my video talking about the skull, like, a week or so ago, the, uh, you know, as I said, this is, like, the greatest skull ever created in the history of Halo, and I still stand by that after, like, using it in-game now. So, without further ado, we're gonna use it for the Warthog run, and we're just gonna start from this rally point here. So, as you can see, this skull, it's essentially, like, creative mode in Minecraft, as a lot of people described it last time. And let's switch to third person so you can get a better view. But yeah, it just basically lets you fly around and really fast too. So fast that if you're not careful and you and you hit something or crash into something, you you'll actually splatter yourself. So I, I, this actually took me a couple of tries to get it right without you know hitting something and dying. Now for this video, I'm also gonna be showing you the, the best route to take of the skull because that actually matters. If you just take the normal route, you'll have like explosions everywhere and objects flying, and because of that. It actually creates even more obstacles, and if you hit something while flying, you have a very good chance of getting splattered by that. So that's why for this video, I'll be showing you guys the best route to take with this skull. The optimal route, where it's literally the path of least resistance. So what you want to do <clears throat> is, instead of taking the normal route at the beginning here, turn left and proceed this way along the edge of the map here and just um, make your way around the mountain. Don't go you know, into the normal area or you might hit a trigger, which uh, it's okay if you do, but then you'll just be back to doing the Warthog run normally. When you come in here, make a left here and go down this particular hallway, because now that you can fly, you can take this route instead. And by taking this route, you do still hit a loading point, but you skip the triggers to spawn the, um, the platforms for the rest of the map. And as a result, there's no platforms. And no platforms means there's no flying pieces everywhere to splatter you mid-air. It's uh, there's like no, there's <laughs> pretty much no anti-air going on now. So, <clears throat> now you can make your way a little more normal, just even though nothing is spawned in. But don't worry, even though nothing is pretty much spawned in, you'll still be able to finish the mission just fine. Even better, actually. And you'll even still get that uh, glitched uh, cutscene at the end that I showed you guys in a video a long time ago. Except in that video, I had, had to mod a Banshee in to get it. But this time, we don't have to, thanks to this new, really awesome Acrophobia skull. But uh, once you come down this tunnel, same thing, just take this tunnel here, this path on the left. I, I don't think it's actually necessary here, it doesn't really matter, but just in case, you know, why not? And once you get past this big jump here, just Instead of going right, make a left along the side of the left side of the mountain here, so you can skip even more of it. Basically, you get, you're finishing this Warthog run in like two minutes, which is like technically a world record. But obviously, using this kind of skull, I guess it wouldn't really count. But um, right here, just fly low, don't hit the top of the the frigate, and let you guys watch the cutscene.
All right, so there you guys have it. As you can see, you get a really glitched cutscene where the uh, the flight path of the frigate looks kind of different, and Arbiter got like crushed at the beginning part. But yeah, so that's basically the Acrophobia skull, which is pretty much the greatest skull ever. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave a thousand in the comments. If there's anything else me to try out the Acrophobia skull, there's so much potential. There's so much we can do. If you have any ideas, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll definitely do my best to uh, try those out when we get a chance. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.